November 23rd, 1985. A typical fall day in stores Connecticut where sports would be forever changed. A day where unknowingly greatness began. A game where the head coach was just focused on getting his first win. Little did he know, on December 19th of 2017, 33 years later, he would have experienced that victorious feeling 999 more times. Pat Summit, Sylvia Hatchell, Tara Vandeveer, Mike Krzyzewski, and now Gino Oriema all share one thing in common, 1,000 career wins. Win number 1,000 in the legendary career of Gino Oriema. <laughs> uh, <laughs> playing for coach has been, um, it's interesting, <laughs> but you know, you start off and um, it's tough and you're like, you've never had someone like that in your ear before. His greatness kind of like never wears off, you never really get used to it. I've definitely known that I've become a much better player than I could have even imagined already. One quality that has set Oriema apart from the rest has been his unique ability to coach and to push each individual player in the right ways. Well, Coach Oriema, uh, CD, they've been here for a very long time creating this university and this program into what it is today. And they do a very good job of holding everybody to the same expectations, whether you were one of the first players who came in or whether you're one of their newest players. Just the things that he exposes about yourself. I mean, he reads people better than anybody I've ever met. And then as you get older, uh, you, start to get, you start to learn him more. He starts to get more, more comfortable with you. And um, I think we've developed a pretty good relationship. I was literally, like I was looking at him in the um, meeting. I was like, wow, this is really like coach. Um, I don't know. He's, I mean, amazing to be around. He's brutally honest. Like he'll tell you the truth if you ask for it. Even if you don't ask for it, he'll tell you the truth. It's interesting because you have to learn how to fight for him as well. You know, some people will kind of, if you just get down on when, whenever he says something, you're not going to succeed here. You got to know that um, sometimes he's saying things to push your buttons and kind of just get you to fight back a little bit. And he knows, especially with me, that's how it works. He definitely knows that different people have different types of way they need to be coached. But for me, he knows he could just challenge me or basically talk smack with me and I'll kind of respond and be like, oh yeah, like watch. <laughs> 43 regular season titles, 17 final fours. Six perfect seasons, 11 national championships, and somehow one sticks out amongst the rest. You know, people say, um, what was the most important championship you ever won? And a lot of times I, li I like to say, the second one. Because so many people have won one and just expected another one to come, and it never did. So when you get more than one, it's like, yeah, you know, like, it wasn't a fluke. But we, we actually did it again. And that, that sense has never kind of left me. Um, I, I still feel that way. Oriema has not only taken the UConn women's basketball program to heights it could have never foreseen, he has helped his players achieve their full potential as well. I mean, he's completely changed uh, my game. Everything I came in that I thought I was good at, he told me I wasn't. <laughs> and the things that I thought I would never be good at are the things that kind of he's allowed for me to make great. Honestly didn't know um, the things that I was would be capable to do um, and I know I wouldn't have got that anywhere else. You dive on loose balls. Every day you come in to get better, you work as hard as you can, your effort is always judged on practice. I think we've gained more trust in each other. Now it's been an amazing experience that I've had with him. Um, he teaches us so many little things that kind of help overall. Holding each other to a high standard, understanding this is the way we do things here and that's it, that's the end of the line, that's how you get it done. Before Oriema arrived at UConn, the women's basketball program had only one winning season in its history. Since his arrival in 1985, the Huskies' only losing season in that time span came in Oriema's first year. There was a, there was a time uh, early on in my head coaching career when I would check the media guides uh, you know I would look through the conference media guides and I would say okay how many wins do I have 60 uh, I want to try to win as many games as that coach how many do they have 
they have 90. I, I want to see if I, like, wow, wouldn't it be cool to like win 100 games? You know, that, that's the way I thought. <laughs> and, uh, um, it, and it was, I, I'll never forget, it was like yesterday uh, when we won our first conference championship in 1988-89. It was like, I can't wait to go to the banquet, you know? Like, we're going to be the team that, you know, everybody's talking about. And somebody said, you know, you got coach of the year. Wow, this is going to be really cool, you know? And you don't know where that, you don't know where that's going to take. You don't know, like, is this the only time we're going to win a conference championship? Is this the only time you're ever going to uh, feel what this feels like? Nah, don't worry about it. You're going to win 37 of those, and then you're going to, you know, go to 11 Final Fours. Don't worry about it. Really? I mean, <laughs> that, that was so far removed from the real world. There's no way you could have imagined it. Well, for Coach, the unimaginable is now etched into the record books with 1,000 career wins. Just one highlight amongst a long list of historic accomplishments.